we've cut across the research community to include people who are math educators, science educators, developmental psychologists, educational psychologists, social psychologists, people who are coming from very different research disciplines and reporting out on what it is that they've been able to figure out, what their research programs look like. These are compiled in one place and that people have been asked to explain their definitions and to enable them to sort of explain the work that they're doing in relation to the work of others. So the book was um, the product of an AERA conference by the same name that was held in 2012. What we had basically done was to involve anybody who had an established research program in uh, mathematics and science and was also trying to explore the role of interest in those contexts. Researchers are reporting on interest in a lot of different ways. So sometimes interest is conceptualized as an emotion, sometimes it's conceptualized as a value, sometimes people think of it as a task feature, sometimes they think about it as a developmental variable. In all of those contexts, one of the things that's really um, compelling is the fact that they come back to the fact that interest affects attention, it affects learning strategies, it affects goal setting, and it can be supported to develop. And so one of the reasons that it would be an interesting variable and an important one for uh, people in mathematics and science to understand better is that if what you're trying to do is to support people to go into and stay in STEM majors and careers, the importance of understanding how that can be facilitated um, is, is really critical. I think that in math and science education, that there has been an assumption that you either have the skills or that you don't have the skills. And what the data are showing is that you can support interest to develop. And not only that, but that in mathematics and science, that there are ways that the curriculum and the instructional practice can be adjusted to enable people to better and uh, engage these disciplines. What we're finding, for example, is that even if you have a marginally improved amount of interest for something, you'll attend better. You know, problem solving is actually not easy, but you may actually sustain your attention or be in a position to try to persevere to understand something. The learning strategies, the goal setting, you're able to self-regulate, you have self-efficacy. In other words, you feel that like you can actually solve the problems. So all of those things sort of put interest in this position to be extremely helpful. Interest doesn't like translate immediately to now I can do calculus if I couldn't do it before, but what it does mean is it's a facilitator, you know, and so it actually enables engagement. There's also, you know, uh, work now in neuroscience that's really showing that interest actually is rewarding, you know, and that in some ways means then that the process of developing interest enables people to more seriously engage and that it become something where it is rewarding to engage. You want to try to understand something. So if you can get that going, that's powerful. My sense is that the book has potential appeal for educators, researchers, and for policymakers. And I think um, each of those constituencies um, would read probably slightly different things into the volume or you know, bring different questions to it. For the educators, I think it's about sort of understanding how interest develops or could be potentially supported to develop and why that's important. The researcher should actually be positioned to have a very good and comprehensive overview of what the field contains. Policymakers, I think, are positioned to actually understand a lot more about how interest could be a facilitator and why it is that supporting the development of interest could be critically important to whether or not people are going to be able to continue in STEM disciplines and, and pursue majors. We needed to be bridging the um, disciplines in order to talk with each other. Otherwise, you know, as a person studying interest, I'm working in my own little, you know, um, silo. And the problem is that I end up replicating the work that somebody else has already figured out if in fact we don't talk with each other. And so one of the real powers of the volume was that we got these different people together.